me a little bit about what goes on at, at uh, Vance and Altus um, Air Force bases that that falls under your your purview. You bet. Both of them fall under 19th Air Force, which is also headquarters at Randolph Air Force Base. One is responsible uh, at Vance Air Force Base in Indiana, Oklahoma, is responsible for a, a specialized undergraduate pilot training, and their job is to teach bright young shiny Americans how to fly the latest and greatest airplanes in our inventory. And Vance has been there since uh, World War II, and it does a great job. Uh, the other base we have is Altus, Oklahoma, at Altus Air Force Base, and its job is to provide advanced training after you graduate from a place like Vance Air Force Base to learn how to fly the KC-135, which is a tanker, and the C-17, which is a cargo aircraft. Tell me a little bit about how important it is right now to have people who are, you know, trained up on those, those pieces of equipment. Okay, both the C-17 and the 135 support the Joint Force Commander. And the way they do that is they're, they're a team, they're linked. One, uh, if you're going to have uh, airplanes like the B-1 or say F-16s or, e or F-18s for the Navy, uh, or for the Marine, the Harriers, they're going to need to be air to air refueled so they can stay over the target or fly across the country. And so you'll need uh, 135s or a tanker for many, many, many years to come. They are a total force multiplier. The other aircraft, the C-17, uh, which flies cargo around the world, is the latest in modern technology, and it's able to go into dirt strips and the short runways, and, and it flies regularly to Afghanistan and Iraq and uh, loads off cargo or troops or humanitarian uh, supplies. It is so versatile, it can do so much. Sometimes the 135s have to refuel the, F uh, the C-17s. And so they're a team and they go out there and they all belong to Air Mobility Command when they, after they graduate from, uh, from Altus, which is part of Air Education Training Command. And when those young students who graduate from there, they go out and serve the Joint Force Commander day-to-day -day ops, 365 days a year.